Hey y'all, we about to get into my favorite books of the Bible and this is Moses. So this was around a time when the Egyptians had enslaved the Israelites and they just hated them and the Israelites was growing in number and this was making the Egyptians mad. Like the Israelites were the Egyptians' slaves and but they were growing and growing and growing so the Egyptians was like this is they this their population is growing so you know what? Every time y'all have a, a baby and it's a son, throw him into the river. Basically kill him. And so around the time it was this woman and she basically had a son. And she was just like, I don't want to kill my baby. Like, you know what? Like, I don't care. Like, I already know I'm, I trust God and I know that he got me. So I'm going to keep my baby and I'm going to figure out a plan for him. So she... You know, kept her. She had her son. She kept him for about three months, but he was getting older and bigger. You know, babies start developing. They start crying, moving around more, and stuff like that. So she was like, "I gotta figure out a plan." Like, you know, I don't want nobody to know that I got him, and you know, somebody gonna find out eventually the older he gets. So I gotta figure out a plan. So her plan was she got a basket that she wanted to put her baby in, and she put it like in the river, and she told the little like. She told her older daughter, whatever, because she know the baby was her son. And she told her daughter, like, you know, go watch, like creep in the bushes and watch and like just wait around and see what's going to happen. Basically to your little brother. So she wait in and then they see this Egyptian lady and she was down there. I think she was trying to wash up or something, but she seen the baby in the river and she said to one of her servants, like, look, like, go get the baby, go get the baby. Mind you, y'all, this is the Pharaoh's daughter. So I'm like, this princess. <laughs> so basically, she got the baby and she felt so sorry for him. And she realized, like, dang, like, this is one of the babies that my dad said that had to be killed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't want to do that to him. Like, I feel sorry for him. You know what? Like, we're going to keep this baby. We're going to keep this boy. But then that's when the little, remember the little boy, his older sister was watching. So she popped out the bushes and she was like, Hey, like, um, do you want me to find a mommy to take care of the baby for you? Like, I can find one. And then the feral daughter, like, you know what? That's a good idea. And so the older sister ran to go get her mama. And it's like the whole thing was crazy because it's like that's originally her baby. You know what I'm saying? But she just finessed this whole thing, like the mama. Like, it was just, I just love how that played out. So the mama, she went to go get her mama. So basically the plan was to take care of the baby, you know, while he's little, like little. And then they was going to give him back to the Pharaoh's daughter when he got older. And the Pharaoh agreed to that. But the Pharaoh daughter was like, I even pay you to take care of this baby. Like whole time she don't know, like the woman, this is the woman's son. You know what I'm saying? But the way they played it out, it was just so crazy. And it's just like, now you getting paid to take care of your own son. But you know, after she did that, she did that and she gave her son back to Pharaoh's daughter and she was sad. You know, I'm like, dang, like, you know, I had my baby. I was able to keep my baby, but I got to give him up. So, you know, any mother would be sad. Like, I don't want to give up my baby. But she was realizing, like, you know what? Like, I'm appreciative, too, because God allowed him to live and God allowed, you know, like everybody else had to, you know, do go do away with their kids. But you know, God has a plan for me and my son and he allowed my son to live. And she just was like sad and happy at the same time. And y'all do have to remember Moses was the savior around this time because God had a plan to have Moses save everybody. And, and you know, all the people that were slaves and just to save the Israelites and bring them to just where they need to be. Just stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned.